Miss HL and this is Lithosphere One Earth's Layers video. Here you have your notes and study guide. This corresponds with the PowerPoint and the notes. This question is found on the PowerPoint and in this video and in the written copy of the notes. You put your answer here. This particular PowerPoint will cover from here to here. The second PowerPoint starts here and it covers plate tectonics. And again, this question will correspond with the question on the PowerPoint and in the written notes. The written notes look like this, and you can acquire a set of notes, a paper copy from Miss HL, or you can download them off of Blackboard. And you'll see that they match up. What is the earth made of? What is the earth made of? so you can get your information. Now we're going into the Earth's interior. The Earth is made of several layers. The crust is the outermost thinnest uh, layer. The next layer is the mantle. It is the thickest layer. The next layer in is the outer core. This layer is a thick layer of liquid metal, nickel, and iron. The inner core is a thick layer of solid nickel and iron. Here you have a definition of each of the four layers. This is the information you need to add to your notes and study guide. Here is a flattened view rather than a cross-section of all the layers of the Earth. Again, the outer layer is the Earth's crust. The next layer in is the mantle. It is the thickest layer. And then you have the two parts of the core. The outer part of the core is liquid. The inner part of the core is solid metal. The lithosphere is what we're going to be talking about with this unit. It is all of the crust and the very, very, very top edge of the mantle that's hard. That's what we walk on. It's the rigid rock. And then just below the lithosphere is the soft, weak, molten layer of magma that is just underneath that part of the mantle. The rest of the mantle is pretty much hard, solid rock, but the top layer is molten. The word asthenosphere comes from the Greek asthen, which means weak. Here you have your definitions for lithosphere and asthenosphere. Remember that you can always refer to the paper copy of the notes and the PowerPoint to copy down the definitions. Here's another visual of the cross section of the layers where you can see where the lithosphere is all of the crust and the upper solid part of the mantle and the asthenosphere is the soft layer, very, very top part of the mantle. This chart shows you the different thicknesses of each layer, the depth of the layers into the core of the earth, and the characteristics. What actually is the layer composed of? What types of rocks? And of course, its state of matter. Notice that only one layer is liquor, li liquid. Whoops! The outer core. Use this to reference for your test on your study guide. Who is Alfred Wagner? He was a German scientist who hypothesized the, the continental drift theory in 1910. Now, this was a long time ago, and they didn't have a lot of technology then, but he believed that the continents were floating around on this asthenosphere layer and moving into different areas. He believed that one time all the continents were together called Pangaea. This shows how, how we came to where we are in present day. Pangaea in the upper left hand corner was all the continents together. You can see over the Triassic period, Jurassic period, and Cretaceous period how the, the continents separated till the present day. Alfred Wagner's theory was given evidence when people found on the west coast of Africa similar fossils that can be found on the east coast of South America. There's no way that the dinosaurs went across that ocean. They had to have been connected. What is the theory of plate tectonics? It's the theory that the molten material of the asthenosphere 
flows and the earth's crust in large chunks floats around on top of it, kind of like styrofoam floating around in a lake. The little cracks between the chunks of earth are called fault lines. This is where the crust breaks due to push and pull of the plates moving around as they float on top of the asthenosphere. Here is the cracks of the earth. It's like the earth is a giant hard-boiled egg and the outer shell is cracked. You can see the Pacific plate comes along the edge of North America where the San Andreas Fault is located. That giant crack is right there by the edge of California. Notice we live on the edge of North American continent. We are still on the North American plate. See the sea for where it says Caribbean plate? That's about where we are located. We aren't anywhere near a crack because we are in the middle of the tectonic plate. What is the theory of plate tectonics continued? Here is why we believe that the, the plates are floating around on the asthenosphere. It's convection. That's the process we talked about before when heat energy is transferred by rising and falling in a circular motion. It is believed that there are convection currents in the mantle that rise and fall that make up those plates float gently on top of the asthenosphere. Think of your lava lamp when you, to think of convection. As the bottom of the lamp heats up, the liquid rises to the top. As it cools, it will fall back down in a circular motion. That's it.